Are you aware that two Category 5 hurricanes swept through the British Virgin Islands, Hurricane Maria and Hurricane Irma? 185 mile an hour winds tore through the island, ruining people's lives. My name is Shamik and I'm from Anguilla. On the morning that the hurricane hit, I remember my sister coming to wake me up and I was like during, in the middle of my sleep and I'm a heavy sleeper so when I woke up I looked up there was a hole inside of my roof of my bedroom and the left side of my bed was soaked with water but I didn't feel it and she told me to get up and we had to go downstairs because the glass door shattered to stop the water from coming in we had to like try to close off one of the shutters it was a struggle because the wind was like really really high there was like mess everywhere halfway through it the like current went off as well so it was like in darkness because it was like early in the morning and we didn't have any flashlights then. It was like a struggle to see anything. It was cold and wet. The whole house was like flooded out. Then the roof decided to break down at the top. And so we had to rush up there and get the technology, like my dad's new TV, his speakers, his computer and everything from upstairs and bring it into the bedroom. Recently, my life has been imp impacted by hurricane Maria and Irma, um, especially like when weather, like how it's raining these days, I get like kind of nervous, like around the weather because I feel like I'm back in that experience again, where I just like feel that I'm gonna be cold and everything like that. And then when I'm thinking about it, I think back to my dad and my sister who's like at home. I can't do anything to help them because I'm like still young and I can't really fly back because it'll be hard for me to get back again. They've only just got current, so it's not really easy for me to get in contact. So I get to speak to them at least once or twice a month. And like my dad's ill. Well, his hands, his body shakes because of the accident. So now he has to find a way to like rebuild and fix his house over by himself at his old age. And so like, it just worries me. I feel like I have stress just thinking about everything. The UK can help the British Virgin Islands by donating to the Red Cross. The need for aid is now more important than ever. Please contact the Red Cross on this number. <laughs>